the sixth man to walk on the moon, one of NASA's most celebrated and accomplished astronauts. Edgar Mitchell was also a Palm Beach County resident who shared his thoughts and life and achievements with us just a few years ago. Ignition, lift off. January 31st, 1971, Apollo 14 lifts off from the Kennedy Space Center. On board, astronaut Stuart Rusa, Alan Shepard, and Edgar Mitchell. While Rusa orbited overhead in the command module, Shepard and Mitchell landed on the moon. They hold the record for the longest ever moonwalk, nine hours and 17 minutes, and traveled farther on the surface than anyone else. You're focused on your job. Only when you get in space, the cutoff takes place. You're floating in free fall, as it were. Then you can relax and your blood pressure comes up and your emotions come up and everything, uh, heart rate goes up and things. You relax and say, wow, we're here. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. America's triumph in reaching the moon first, beating the Russians, was one of the most celebrated moments in our history. Before the space race, Edgar Mitchell was a Navy pilot. He began working for NASA. Exciting times, yes. But the incredibly hard work from training in the deserts and jungles to flight simulators and injection seats, it all took a toll. But not good for family life at all. <laughs> NASA completed a total of six manned moon landings between 1969 and 1972. And Mitchell was an optimist about the future and about space travel. We will go to Mars in due course. I have no doubt about that. 